Hello there. Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to do a little walk around on a 1971 Beetle convertible. This is pretty unique. We don't get too many of these in when we do. Yeah, they typically go pretty fast. This one is a clutchless manual. You just let off the gas to shift. Got the four cylinder. Plenty of room to breathe here. Make sure you check your antifreeze on these. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're gonna be doing a walk around, point out any kind of flaws that I could find so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll try to post videos every day. Uh, I was just doing a test drive on this one. You can also catch that video at the end of this one, about the last 30 seconds. Check out maplemotors.com for close to 100 detailed pictures. We also have financing and shipping available on that website. Plus, all of our inventory is updated every Monday. Let's see if I can even open this. Learning about it with you. We don't get too many of them in, like I said. There's got to be a latch for it. Possibly way over here. Go ahead and open everything up. We'll get to walking around. All right, the lever for the hood is in the glove box. Righty, push down on it. And I guess this would be considered the trunk. Got to check everything, huh? Check everything out, the gas tanks there. It's where you put your spare tire, it's nice and solid. Weather stripping around the edges. It looks okay, real thin. Comes down, walks up good. We're gonna start up here in the front. Any flaws I see, I will let you know. Front bumper's in pretty good shape. Right here below the light, there's a little bit of rust popping through though. Little chip in the paint on the side of the hood. Front windshield, the uh, seal, a little dry. couple of dimples in the fender there same right there a bubble in the paint it's chip in the middle of the door another little chip in the side there and back here Tires are in pretty good shape. Back bumper looks pretty good. Dual exhaust out the back. Tiny exhaust. Another little chip right here. And here, it's been touched up. Got some extra chips along the inside of that right there. Little handle here, pops your gas cap. It's got some chips on the gas cap as well. This 
Same thing under this headlight, a little bubble popping up. And we've made it all the way around this. Not a very big car. It's pretty good. Go ahead and check the interior out. Top is in great shape. You can see uh, pictures of the top up. I've got detailed pictures on my website. Definitely check that out. The frame is in good shape. The fabric's great. So definitely look at that at maplemotors.com. Back seat's in good shape as well. You do got some chips on the inside here. It's not perfect. That's on both sides. It's your seat belt. Carpet looks nice and clean. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? A little game we like to play. Get the speakers in the dash, showing 71,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that. But it very well could be. Even the buzzer's working. Let's go ahead and start it up. Starts up nice and easy. Checking out the door panel. Pretty clean. Weather stripping's a little old on this one. Let's go ahead and sit down in here. I'm in a little box. You gonna try that horn out? Y'all place your bets? It does work. Wipers work as well. Radio jamming. What's cool about this one, it is a stick. You just let off the gas, push down, and shift. I'll do my best to give you some undercarriage shots. This one's been lowered a little bit. So we're gonna start up here in the front, go all the way around the car, and I'm gonna jump back in and continue my test drive. Let's look under this one. I do have detailed pictures on my website so check that out at the undercarriage so far so good it looks pretty solid All right, guys, like I said in the beginning, check out maplemotors.com for shipping and financing. Uh, I do test drives and walk arounds on this channel, so if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. You can get those detailed pictures on my website, including all of my inventory. We're also on uh, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Please hit follow, and I appreciate you watching. Let's get back to it. Y'all have a good one.